Good afternoon everyone, my name is Jack and I'm with Northwest Bus Sales. Today I'm going to be showing you a 2015 Ford F650 StarCraft XLT. This is a 40 passenger plus rear luggage. So you have 39 in the rear, 40 is the co-pilot, plus a rear luggage area, only 122,000 miles on it. 6.7 liter Cummins, rated at 300 horsepower. Wow, that's a lot. Alright, that'll do it for the intro, let's check it out. Okay, first things first, 6.7 liter Cummins ISB, 300 horse. Get a shot of this here. All right, tires on this. Fronts are at about 10 to 11. Rears are at about 15. Shot of the tire there. Look at that frame. Not a rusty bus by any means. All right, so the XLT is a uh, StarCraft's model. You can get an XL, which is more like straight wall. Doesn't have the nice curves and nice lines there. This is the XLT, a little bit nicer body on it. Uh, coming on in, we have an electric operated bifold passenger entry door. Uh, gray flooring with some blue and white dots on it. Looking good. Gray flooring doesn't show dirt as much. Nice and easy to clean. Got a couple of grab rails coming on in. Grab handle there. All right, we're going to go over the driver area here first, okay? Driver's seat upholstery has been redone. I don't know about when, but it's got a, uh, a new cloth cover on it, a couple of armrests on both sides, and the co-pilot seat, that is the standard Ford, Ford OEM cover on that. A couple of cup holders right down here. All right, mileage on this, 122,910 miles. Uh, we got powered locks, powered windows, powered mirrors, and then this little switch right there, that's a heated mirror switch there as well. So for those frosty mornings, those will get nice and toasty. You don't have to go out there with your credit card and scrape them off. Uh, up top here, got your control panel. Open and close the door, interior dome lights, reading lights. Got a total of two heaters. Uh, low is down, off is in the middle, high is all the way up, just like that. We also have a total of two air conditioning controls here, all right? So you got your uh, one right here is your blower speed, your thermostat, and then another one up here, blower speed and thermostat, which we will show you those evaporators in the back there. Uh, down here, Ford OEM stereo, AM, FM, CD. It's got an aux input if you want to plug in a phone. PA mic integrated into that. A couple of 12 volt ports. And then this is your climate controls for your driver and co-pilot just like you'd see in a car. Very easy to use. All right, up here we got your control panel, troubleshooting LEDs, fuses, relays, all right in one easy spot. Very easy for your mechanics to access. All right, in the back here. So first impressions of this, nice and clean. Floors aren't all scuffed up. Seat corners aren't all ripped or anything like that. There's gonna be minor wear and tear items. Uh, first thing I wanna point out, this is upgraded. This is, these are Freeman Featherweight Highbacks, but they are upgraded with the uh, Berkshire Foams, okay? So it's a little bit of an upgraded seat. You got more cushioning on there, a little more comfortable. Aisle side armrests, they have recliners as well, recliners on them, okay? And uh, also retractable seat belts. You'll notice the seat belts aren't all flopping in the aisle there. You got under seat retractables. Berkshire upgraded foams. It's a nice high capacity coach or a shuttle that can kind of give a little bit of a coach feel. Nice big windows, but still on a Ford. Looking good. All right, got your first AC evaporator up here by Transair. You got a smaller one, probably around 45,000 BTUs. Don't quote me on that, but around there. And you got a bigger one in the back. So nice big AC for a big bus. Walk down the aisle here, got a couple of overhead racks up top, ceiling mounted AC evaporator in the rear. Give you a shot of that. Look at the backs of all these seats. No big holes, no big cuts. They look fantastic. Got some dome lights going down the center of the aisle. Looking good on the inside. Uh, the ceilings 
and the overhead panels and the sidewalls are all covered with a gray padded vinyl including the driver area nice and easy to clean also uh, provides some insulation keeps road noise down and then we do have these carpet inserts like in the center of the aisle on the transition panels and coming up to the window line from the floor and that'll pretty much do it for the inside let's check out the outside all right on the outside to be honest we've had quite a few of these xlts in the lot in the past first thing i've always seen is that these skirts are all banged up not a whole lot to talk about on this first one here passenger side skirt looking good oh, we're going to show you the rear passenger side duels and look at that frame not a rusty bus by any means looking good beautiful now coming to the rear driver's side, we got a little bit of some action here. Looks like they did a little bit of some touch-up. Probably peeled off some DOT numbers there or something. So a little bit of action there, nothing too crazy though. Rear passenger side corner, these corners tend to be where you'll see the most damage on these. Not a whole lot to talk about, which is great. Got your rear luggage area here as well. Carpeted sidewalls. And this actually has the uh, slam lock door, unlike those ones you have to like rotate. So you can slam it all you want. It's got a lock on it. And then we have a rear step bumper here as well to help you get inside if you need to. Driver's side corner looking good. Not a whole lot to point out. Got a little scratch right there. A little minor scratch here. I mean, these are real minor things to point out. Overall body on this is looking impeccable. I uh, got your rear driver's side skirt. Got those beautiful XLT lines, nice and molded. Looking good. Gonna show you the rear driver's side duels. Shot of underneath, look at that. Got your skirt mounted air conditioning condenser fans. And then right in here, got your slide out battery box and tray. You bus people know these can get pretty gunked up. Nice and clean in here, look at that. Wow. Beautiful hydraulic struts work as well. It's staying open all by itself. I love that. Oh, I'm gonna close that all the way. There we go. Got a couple of uh, steps. Pretty standard on the XLT. Steps to help the driver get on into the bus. And last but not least, you have your front driver's side tire. Well, thank you for watching this Northwest Bus Sales exclusive video tour. If you like this bus or any other buses on our lot, you can call us at 1-800-231-7099. Visit us at nwbus.com or email us sales at nwbus.com. Thanks for watching.